Right, on our video today, we're going to show this 1.5 ampere lithium ion DeWalt battery. This featured in the live stream on the 24th of January, and this is one of the batteries that I was not unable to uh, get going. I removed the four screws, and I've opened the box, I'll show you why. Doesn't look pretty at the top. If I take it out of the box, you can see how badly corroded this is. So all these cells are history. Um, I don't like the circuit board, there's too much corrosion in the connections. If you can see that. I don't like the circuit board. So what I'm gonna do, I have a five amp circuit board here which um, I bought on eBay one time and I salvaged some cells. Somebody had done a Heath Robinson repair job on it, which even I wouldn't be proud of. I'm going to use that circuit board and I have eight good cells in this that the circuit board's could put as well. So if I take the circuit board off this, remove the cells from this, I might be able to restore that 1.5 battery to a, a working battery. So first of all, I might just, yeah, just leave that there. That's, that's finito. So I need the circuit board off this and this top plastic assembly and all the connections. And I can move this bottom part and bad cells. Right, I've removed a lot of the excess connective material there and the bottom layer. So that will effectively replace this. There is a battery indicator in this one which uh, this one doesn't have so I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do. I might have to remove that. We'll see what happens in time. Right, with the board prepped, sort of, we have to get this out of the casing and remove five of these cells so they're viable. Oh, gloves, nearly forgot. I always wear gloves when you're messing around with cells, just in case, just in case. And be careful in this positive end when you're taking that off, because you could accidentally cross the connection. It's tricky. Right, I've got five what I consider to be decent cells now. They're all testing around 3.68, which is perfectly fine voltage. It's just what you would probably want. The next step is to put these five onto this, so I'm going to proceed with that now. This pack fully assembled has shown 18.13 volts, which is really good. And it's also shown two bars in the battery indicator. Um, we might have to lose the battery indicator, but we'll see how it goes here. Right, I've successfully fitted this onto the pack, and like I say, there's two bars shown in the battery indicator, which sadly we have to lose. So, let's not dwell. There we are. It might do something else later on. Anyway, I've noticed one or two subtle differences. The battery indicator was one. There's a thing here that's not on this. It's a different circuit board. And the top on this has got this here. So I'm going to have to break that off to make it fit this. So that's been taken care of now. A 
the battery's charging just fine now. So, if you found this video educational or entertaining, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content.